What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be working on a tow hitch. So as you guys can see, there's like a gap over there. Better views. More better views. See this gap? All oh, this gap and gap here due to my body lift what body lift if you guys haven't seen the video of these gap guards DIY gap guards metal gap guards then head over somewhere here I'll put the link up but yeah I have a 3 inch body lift on my truck which is why my tow hitch sits so low but today we're gonna be fixing that or well today and tomorrow because we're not gonna get it done today but I'm gonna start prepping it today though and what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much cutting this piece of metal quarter inch thick steel and cutting this in half raising it up and I'm gonna weld the metal over here to kind of reinforce this whole thing like when I move when I move it up since it'll be like pretty much straight up cut in half you could also just cut this tube thingy here and weld it up here but I'd rather keep the original welds here because it's like guaranteed and I'm no certified welder so I'm not too sure how that would hold up if I did weld this part whereas if I would cut it straight in half down the middle move it up, weld it back together and weld that additional plate over everything to hold up this side and this side together I feel like that would be a way safer bet especially if I'll be using this to like either tow or recover with a recovery strap and yank people we want to make sure that this thing is like super strong we made a mark so how I got this was I decided to start from here since like the frame is kind of like right here so I just added half an inch to the edge of this which is pretty much half an inch from here so it looks like right here is where our cut is gonna be that way when we weld the back part we have half inch play and all the welds won't get in the way of the frame and the mind the bolt yeah only one I saw that like six months ago or almost a year ago but I'm gonna leave it like that you know why just in case somebody steal my truck and paint them change the license plate I'll be like officer I know that's my truck because one bolt on the bed is loose good eh? but yeah so we're pretty much gonna cut here and this line is where my mark will be I'm gonna like grind the notch here just because when we like sand all of this to take the paint off to prep it for welding our, all of these marks are going to be gone so our notch over here 3 inches up is going to end up right here and then butt weld it together this piece and this piece this side and the back side and then throw on our reinforcement plate over both sides and weld around it that's plenty strong yeah and shout out to James for this piece of metal thanks man came in clutch and this is how you remove a tow hitch without removing the bumper by yourself so 
so the toe hitch is out and I decided to cut that first just because I'm not too sure exactly how much I'll need for the end product because after we move this up this side is going to be higher which is only going to be cut off and this will come up here so this part will co be coming off and I'm also going to be following this as well so yeah or should I just run it without a toe hitch it looks cleaner though without one but it does come in handy though to do the other side. So we got it cut and this is how it was before and I'm pretty much going to relocate it down here. So tomorrow, uh, I'm pretty much gonna um, flap this, this whole area, including the back side. And then prep the edges for butt joint. To load it together like this. So probably weld um, behind. And maybe this side. Pretty much this part, we're gonna trim it and trim this part as well. So that's that, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? We're back, and what I've done so far was prep the edges. As you guys can see, the top part is the original cut, and the bottom is chamfered, which is I just grinded the edges on this piece as well to prepare it for a butt joint. So, I pretty much we do this so that it can go deeper, it can roll deeper into the metal and then pretty much it will fit, fill itself up. So, we got our little notch right there it's pretty much what we measured yesterday and wanna grab like a straight edge and check if your stuff is flush because if not and you weld it crooked like one side is sticking out than the other then your stuff is gonna be crooked and you're gonna have a hard time mounting it back check this side Pretty good. This side is good as well. So we're pretty much ready to lay our tack welds. So we lay down some tacks, spot welds to hold our piece.
can double check that everything is all good. Mm-hmm. 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 Everything is all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, clean up the spots, and then do four passes. Starting off with the root weld. So we just finished welding up this side and this side came out way better than the other side I mean it's not as good or nice but way better so I'm pretty much just gonna grind this side down like the other side and then cut off the excess on the top and the bottom and prepare our reinforcement plate with the uh, other sheet metal update so i decided that we don't really need to put that the plate that i was gonna put because i feel like the welds over here is pretty strong enough so i'll just leave it like that but we Cut the bottom, made it flush, cut the top. I tried to blend this, but people aren't really gonna see that anyways. But I also did add a plate over here to connect um, this part with this part. Cause this part is pretty much with this, and this is with this. So at least there's something else holding this or these two parts together rather than the welds straight up over here which is over here all the way over there because that's how the original design was which was pretty much this but since we cut that that was not existing anymore so yeah So I'm going to be painting this and we'll get back to you guys when we throw it on. So here's the end product. It looks pretty legit if you ask me. And now we're ready to throw it on. So here it is. Back up and in the flesh. Look at that. It's pretty much hidden now, just like stock. Yeah. You can see straight through underneath my truck without having that tow hitch bar going across three inches down from where it is right now. I've been wanting to do this like over a year ago, but I just never had the time to, or just never found the time to, or never made the time to. But definitely looks way better and way cleaner. And now, there's no gap between the bumper and the tow hitch. This is pretty much the stock position of where it should be. Looks legit.
I know this stuff isn't as smooth, but I'll get to that later. From up here, I can't really see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like you only see minimal. Before it was like down like this, lower, like right there. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys are gonna do this, do this at your own risk. Don't forget to like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Peace.